Should we? Yeah. Okay. So let's complete the sort of uh, seating side of things first, mm -hmm. and then we can uh, go from there afterwards. So um, if you can get that uh, foot in the right position, that one there. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. That'll be lovely. That's um, fine. Have a little play with the pedals. Just accelerate a couple of times. The brake. The brake. How does that feel okay? Yeah, that's feeling okay. okay. We'll come back to that a bit later again. But I just wanted to get a little feel for that. Yeah. So people often tend to sit like this. You're actually looking good, but people often tend to sit miles away from the pedals. Yeah. yeah? I'd so, rather actually be closer because I will have you on top of course. the. Um, um, so like if you're sitting here, I mean you've got to get comfortable. Of course. Yeah. If you're in an emergency, what you do, you you hit the brakes hard. Yeah. And you're bracing. So if you actually have an accident, obviously it'll happen today. But mm -hmm. you're gonna lock that. You can lock that. So we want to come always a little bit closer. But mm -hmm. then you'll be too close either. So also with the steering wheel, we say if you put your arm out. The bottom of your wrist should top on the top on the top. Yeah, exactly. That looks very good to me. Mm -hmm. um, so again, last thing now, I'm gonna actually watch you. I want you to go from the power and to the back to the brake three times. So a bit of power and brake, power, brake, power, brake. Lovely. Mm -hmm. And then I hit the brakes hard. Brake. Yeah, super. Good. So, um, what do you know of what we're doing here today? Have you done anything like this before? No, never. Actually, I wanted to do this for the first time. No, fantastic, fantastic. Uh, so you haven't driven for how long? Um, about a year, actually. Okay, fine. And how long have you had your license for? Uh, seven or actually eight years now. Okay, so you had it a long time. Yeah. Ago. Okay, yeah. fine. So it's not like, yeah, okay, good. <laughs> uh, fantastic. So the setup here is what we call challenging road conditions. Mm -hmm. So it's not a racetrack. Yeah. Uh, it's a, an environment where you can drive in a fantastic car and as you said, even if you want to potentially, you don't have to buy one, but if you're looking mm -hmm. to buy one, that's obviously very useful. We're going to show you a little bit about skid control. We're going to mm -hmm. show you how ESP, ABS, all these systems on the cars work. Have some fun, and uh, is that okay? Any yeah, particular aim, perfect. or does that no? Good. Um, whatever you suggest, that's Fine. best. Okay, it's fantastic. So what we're going to do in a minute is make our way slowly at a walking pace mm -hmm. in front of the building. Then the main access road, which I'll show you, is at 30 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, to get this come to a check with the setting to get this car into drive and to gear, mm -hmm. right foot goes on the brake. Yeah, you got to pull this down. Now it says D. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. It's in gear, so you don't yeah. have to do any more gear changing. The handbrake is there's a little P. Pull that. Yeah, there we go. That's off. So now, just to remind you, an automatic car when you come off the brake, it actually will creep along. Yeah. On its own. The brakes and accelerator on this car extremely sensitive. It's a high performance car, so just be nice and gentle. <laughs> uh, hazards and warnings on. Mm -hmm. That's a protocol. Yeah, if you're happy, off we go. That's yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Walking pace is in front of the building. You've got a stunning V8 roar. Yeah. You've actually got the sports exhaust on this one, which is even nicer. That's it. Where should we go? Yeah, up here. And have you driven on this side before? Uh, on the left, yes, I have. So, UK car and all that. Yeah, yeah. okay, fine. Because otherwise, people tend to drive very close. To the, the left, edge. yeah, yeah, exactly. That's fine. Well, left here, please. That's lovely. Yeah, all the way straight. This feels very good. Yeah, yeah. it's lovely. Most important element of driving is very smooth, yeah? Yeah. It's a very high performance car, 500 horsepower pretty much, so smooth on the power, smooth on the brake, car mm -hmm. stays in control basically. We're going to keep going all the way down to the end, yeah? Mm -hmm. And uh, there'll be an area, the first area we go to is just a familiarization area mm -hmm. where you can just do a few laps and just get yourself comfortable in the car. Should we go? So, so we're going to turn left at the top where the two posts are. Yeah, over here. Yes, please. That's it. So your yeah, brakes are very sensitive. Yeah, nice soft it. braking. Left here and left again. So take it like, yeah, nice and smooth, nice and smooth. That's good. Grand drive. So nice and slow speed along here. Mm -hmm. Just getting a little feel of the facility. That's good. Mm -hmm. So really think about the gentle touch application of that brake. Yeah, because yeah, how much power does this one have? Uh, a lot of power. So always a bit of gentle braking before the bends. Just a bit mm -hmm. of soft braking, that's it. That's it. This has got nearly 500 horsepower. Mm -hmm. That's it. I can feel this definitely has a lot underneath the bonnet. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. That's it. So again, just slow down a little bit, just gotta get, yep. get a little feel for the car. So the idea is during the cornering phase, mm -hmm. maintain your speed, don't increase it, mm -hmm. and you only put any power if necessary as you come out of the bend. Mm -hmm. we're, we're driving, that's much better braking there. We're driving within the two white lines just so you've got margin of error. Mm -hmm. Wherever you see a, a, an orange and white cone, 
aim towards it. That means you've got a nice wide entry into the bend, yeah? That makes sense. Yeah. And again, be as smooth as you can. Try not to throw it in. Again, and now it doesn't matter, but when you go quicker, you'll see what I mean. It'll yeah, move yeah. the car around. That's lovely. That's good. So my own background is motor racing. I'm not here to teach about motor racing, mm -hmm. but I've done that for many years. And when we're racing, it's literally you just feed the car in very gently. We say, imagine there's a glass of water in the car. You don't want to spill it. So Lewis Hamilton drivers out there come here all the time and you, they would go around here at super high speeds, but mm -hmm. they could have a glass of water and there's not gonna, it's not gonna spill. spill. They're just beautiful balance on the steering wheel. So that's what we're kind of aiming. Lovely, that's good, that's nice. I'm loving it. Good, just started, lots more to do. Fantastic, good. And what do you do, what's your line? I'm a developer, a software developer. Oh, okay. Uh, mostly contracting actually now. Okay. And where are you doing? Everywhere, yeah? Yeah, well, this contract I've got right now is for Deutsche Bank. Okay. Um, building some mobile applications for those guys. Okay. Uh, has a lot of grip, this car. Yeah, a lot of grip, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. That's it. Gentle bit of braking here. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's good. How fast it can go on this track without losing traction? Uh, we're going to come off this straight away. So you've got to keep it slow here, yeah? Mm -hmm. Always, this is just literally just to make sure you're happy in the car, mm -hmm. really happy with the driving position. Is that okay for you? Is it for yeah, us? it's yeah. perfect. You have a bit of gentle braking here. That's it. And patience on the power, that's the key. Mm -hmm. Yes, better, much better. Good. Perfect. Good. Nice. Fantastic. And how did you hear about Mercedes? Uh, actually, my friend was here a couple of months ah, ago, okay. as far as I know. And he recorded his own video of um, this whole experience. Yeah, the braking. Oh, okay. Which was fun. Good. So I was like, I need to do this aspect as well. <laughs> so, sounds good to me. Again, a little bit of braking here. Just gentle, that's it. Okay, so we're going to come off this time. We'll exit here on the left-hand side, please. Mm -hmm. Gently stop it about here. That's it. So, so that's where... Obviously, you think you're going to use your left foot, mm -hmm. which you didn't, which is good. Round to the right here, please. Actually, yeah, or we go to the right, that's it. So, very powerful, yeah. you can feel it, yeah. Have to be very gentle with very it. Very gentle, yeah. Okay. You see there's a lay-by on the right-hand side here. Let's mm -hmm. gently pull into this lay-by here, that's it. And as the car's almost coming to a standstill, that's what you've got to, again, be remember, so be very gentle on it, there's no there's no clutch, you just, mm -hmm. that's it. So you'll get that. Good, yeah. Okay, so now we'll stop here. Okay, good. So put into park, which is just here. Mm -hmm. Lovely. So effectively, what we're going to do is we're going to go on to our next circuit mm -hmm. in a minute. And um, let me just set something up here. <laughs> what it is, it's, uh, it's just a slightly quicker version of what we just came yep. off. So I'm going to explain to you, because so, I like to explain to people the theory behind it, rather than just say dry smooth, why? Mm -hmm. If this is your car and you're driving along, if you suddenly hit the brakes hard, where does the weight of the car go? It goes front. Is that exactly. it goes yep. to the front? The rear of the car is light, yep. and then potentially it could slide. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another scenario: if you're driving on the roads, and you suddenly turn to the right. Any idea where the weight goes? Where weight Obviously goes to the left. Not as obvious to a lot of people, but you're absolutely right. <laughs> Thrown to the left, the inside wheels on your side, mm -hmm. they lose not traction on the weight, as well. lose traction. A straight, a straight followed by a right-hand bend happens on our track. Mm -hmm. So imagine we're approaching, hit the brakes, where it goes It goes forward, forward, and then if you turn left, it goes basically on one wheel. Exactly, one corner, precise. So, we've only got four tyres for the car to grip. Mm -hmm. If one tyre's doing all the work, and the other three aren't really in such good contact, mm -hmm. the car's never gonna grip. Yeah. In an ideal world, we wanna go into the bend as we are now. Mm -hmm. All four tyres have equal weighting on them, and you get maximum so break grip. before the corner itself, obviously. Yeah, um, you, we can break, because uh, it's not high speed, mm -hmm. we can actually break into the bends, but the key, is not to hit the brakes too hard yep. and not to throw the car in. Yep. So you've got to really train yourself to get that right. So the idea is you come on the brakes very soft to start with to preload the front. Mm -hmm. And then if you think, actually, you know what, I'm going a bit fast. Once you've preloaded, you can then put more brake pressure progressively if you need to slow the car down. Because mm -hmm. you've actually preloaded. Whereas if you hit the brakes bang to start with, that will dive down like that. And then you come off the brake and the car sort of, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, steering just ease it in nice and progressively. Uh, and uh, we're going to go from there. So, on this particular circuit here, there's no overtaking allowed mm -hmm. apart from one designated spot near the entrance, which I'll show you. It's done by consent, but if someone needs to go past, they have to ask for permission, mm -hmm. which is good. So, if, if, if you're in a position where I think it's not a nice time for, you to, for them to overtake, I'll say no overtaking. And 
all the cars that are going to overtake them are going to be our own drivers because they are it's a Saturday busy day and a lot of the, they're out there driving people around yeah. they do passenger rides yeah. so that's what's on that side of things uh, let's uh, gently pull that back to the left and then we're going to turn right past the mm -hmm. bus shelter yeah that's it that's it that's lovely and we'll turn where the black one's coming out that's it so again, just, just be really, uh, get a good feel for those brakes. Gently come to stand still here. That's good. Okay, so here, some dotted white lines. Mm -hmm. yeah. If we have to let someone go past, we pull to the left of the dotted white lines, we trickle along, and they overtake from your side. Let's right. make our way on now. Got plenty of time, build it up. Treat it up, this is, you know, performance driving is like you've taken up a new sport. Mm -hmm. you, anyone who's got a license to drive to the shops, but driving here is a sport. And it means we've got to take some time and patience to learn the techniques and then everything will flow so speed is a byproduct of correct technique mm -hmm. that makes sense yeah that makes sense I think uh, so, so gentle braking that's it lovely all the way around you're aiming for the orange and white the blue and white code just don't hit them yeah <laughs> that's it bring the car back in that's good lovely uh, they basically just show the driving, uh, sorry, the racing line, those cones, do they? Yeah, more or less. So I'll, I'll explain a little bit more about them. So these triple cones, we, the, later on we'll be using that as a braking point. All right. At the moment when you first up, obviously, no. So go out wide. So wherever you see an orange cone, mm -hmm. then draw a straight line. Okay. Cone to cone. Orange. So yeah, the racing line, is the, it's like the straightest possible line through the bend. Here, that's it. Now just keep the power constant. It means you're not increasing the speed but you're not decreasing it either, yeah? It's like all about that. balance. Yep. Just like that. Yep, perfect. Round to the left, that's it. Constant power, that's good. Perfect, good, that's nice. Round to the right, that's good. A little braking helps settle the car, keep it going, that's nice. That's good, all the brakes are up. Gonna break, they're gonna break here, yeah, that's it. Nicely done, actually, that was lovely. Keep going, that's good. So we're just learning the, the basic strokes, if you like, technique. Keep going, it's good, looking good. Hold the brakes here, yeah. lovely. Round to the right, looking good. Use all the road here, perfect. Bring back in, and again, perfect. So as we come out of the bend, you can just gently squeeze a little bit more power now. That's it, keep squeezing, that's it. We're gonna build it up layer by layer. Whoa, there's yeah. a lot of a lot of power. So again, squeeze it more progressively. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go quicker and quicker and quicker. Just trying to test what no, no, no. A lot here. of power there, yeah. That's good. All the way around. That's good. Mm -hmm. A lot of power. That's it. So constant power now. Just keep the power all the way. That's it. It's all about balance. Very nice. How long have you been doing racing? Twenty years. <laughs> wow, that's a lot then. Long time, yeah. That's looking lovely, looking lovely, yeah, good. Every lap is getting better and better. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah, you keep going, that's lovely, keep it going, lovely, excellent. Very nice. That's it, hold the brakes here, that's good, lovely. That's it, keep it going, keep it going, that's superb, all the way through. Just to get myself into the right spirit, I did some go karting a couple of days ago. Good move. Yeah. How did, how did it go? Yeah, it's good. Where I did you managed go? to get on. Um, I went to the um, team sport next to the Tower Bridge. Okay, okay. And I managed to get fifth um, time of the week. Oh, fantastic! So yeah. that was good. All the way back in here. That is that electric or motor? Yeah, that was our electric ones. Excuse they are not that great, actually. No, but it's pretty cool though. Yeah, yeah. still good. I th I think the ones which are petrol powered um, yeah. near. Um, how was it Greenwich? Okay, okay. They're actually much much yeah. faster. Got like nine horsepower. Yeah. Good. So what we're gonna have to do is we've got one of our drivers who wants to get past, and so not here, but near the entrance. Mm -hmm. We'll pull over to the left. But karting is smoothness is the key. Yeah. After today, I expect you to go back and be quickest without any doubt. Um, cool. So yeah, that's 100. percent So I want to put hazards on. We pull to the left. Yeah. I love the hazards. And in fact, I want to make an adjustment on the car while we're doing that. Mm -hmm. So. Go across, but keep going dead straight. Dead straight, very slowly. Okay, all I'm gonna do here, stop the car. Mm -hmm. Is stiffen the suspension a little bit there. Cool. That's what I've done there. We've stiffened the suspension, made the car a lot, lot stiffer. And, uh, Is that top spec um, Mercedes? 
Huh? Is that the, the top this spec? This is the top yeah. spec, yeah. Go a little bit okay. Good. This is to absolute top spec. AMG. Doesn't get any higher than this. Fully loaded. Yeah, it's very good, this thing. Good. Perfect. Gently hold the brakes all the way in here. That's lovely. That's good. Use all the road here. Beautiful. Bring the car back in here. And again, I said each lap you're just going to squeeze it. Wait till the car's in a straight line. Mm -hmm. Very important because it's rear wheel drive. Now squeeze a bit more power. That's it. Keep that. That's it. Good. Gentle braking the triple cones. Very light. No more braking than that. That's good compression. And ease the car in. So we're trying to get the car to glide. That's good. Through the bends. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep going. All the way through. All the way through. All the way through. All the way through. A bit of soft braking into this bend. And maintain the power. Perfect. Good. So every lap you're, you're jumping another level, that's mm -hmm. lovely. A little dab, just very light touch, superb. Helps the weight transfer of the car, yeah? Yep. That's, it, that's good. Perfect. Excellent, that's lovely. Keep going, looking good. Keep going, keep going. That's it. All the way to the right, that's good. All the way to the left, that's good. Looking nice, that's it. Nice one. Constant movement. Hold the brakes all the way in. Lovely round to the right, that's good. Use all the road here. Let the car run out, that's it. And yeah, squeeze the power progressively. And then when the car's in a straight line, that's very important. The steering has to be straight, yeah? Mm -hmm. Put some power down, go. And gentle braking. Excellent. Start to release the brakes now. And let the car glide. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Good. This is fun. Good to hear it. Constant power. Next time go a little bit wider. Yeah, because you're not using enough road there yeah. now. So the quicker we go, everything becomes more critical, yeah? Position. So you see you're slightly struggling on the left hander this time. Because if you go wider there, it gives you a better angle. Mm -hmm. That's nothing major. Keep going. So hold the brakes here. That's it. Keep it lovely and smooth. Lovely and smooth. Good. Keep it going, that's nice, keep it going, that's looking good. Yeah. Keep going, don't worry about that, I'll manage the other guys. Mm -hmm. Ease it into here, that's good. Use all the road here. Bring the car back in, that's good. Make the car straight, put the power down. Soft braking. That's it, keep that constant brake pressure. Turn in and release the brakes, good. Very nice. Gentle bit of braking here and constant power, and constant power, perfect. So that's probably a little bit too much power. And can you see now we're yeah, struggling yeah, yeah. to get yeah, the car I can see it's lined slightly, up? Slightly um, wobbling at this speed. So we're going to go to the left of the dotted yep. lines again. Then we'll... So as racing drivers, what we're doing is we're thinking of every, we're thinking two bends ahead. Mm -hmm. So that's what you're going to start doing. So you could go into a bend and we'll make our way back on. You might go into a bend quicker mm -hmm. going in, but if it affects the next bend, Overall lap time is slower. Yep. So we're better compromising slightly to get every single bend together. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Gently hold the brakes away in here. Yeah. This one I should take wider or no, that's good. Like, yeah, wide on the exit. Wide yep. on the exit. So you know, yeah, because all the track. Yeah. Because otherwise, yeah. Because otherwise you're making the bend tighter for yourself. Yep. Power down. Gently brake it now. Use all the road. Keep braking. No more pressure. That's perfect. Ease the car in and then release the brakes. Look at that, beautiful, yeah? Mm -hmm. Good speed. Here, a very light brake. Go wider, wider, wider. That's it. Now, no more power, just keep it tight because we want to get to the right. Mm -hmm. Much better. Dab brake is very light. That's good. You see, this time we were able to get out there. Yeah, when one smooth move. Yeah, and that's because of positioning. That's it. Look again, be really easy on the power to try not to avoid that chucking it in. Yeah. Perfect. Looking lovely. Probably had to hold onto the brakes a little bit longer. See, look, we're struggling here. Mm -hmm. A little bit more braking as you went in. Good. People watch TV or watch Formula One and all this, and they think, oh, it's easy. When you do it, you realize it's very technical. Sport. It Full it, it's all technical. Uh, understanding positioning, braking, accelerating, smoothness. Mm -hmm. Good, looking lovely. Perfect. Keep braking. No more brake pressure than that. 
hold the brakes into the bend and then release. Good. That's it. Constant power. Patience, patience, patience. Too, too deep. And you see now, it's really quite hard work. Yeah, I still have to brake on this yeah, one. Then. Exactly. I'm going to let one of our drivers go. But mm -hmm. So, all part of the learning curve. Enjoying it? Yeah. Looking great. As, as I said, there's a lot of a lot going on. That's easy it in. Use all the road. That. So again, need to go a little bit wider because mm -hmm. we want to make that bend as much of a straight line as possible. Squeeze the power on, off you go. That's it. Check your braking. Good. Was that maximum power I think it was? I yeah, that was, was proper. Good. So you can't go any quicker than maximum power, no. which is good. That's nice. Light braking up to the orange cone. Get wide. Patience on the power now. Patience, patience, because we want to get out to here. Dab of brakes, much better, much better. Patience on the power, good. So you're not fighting the car. Yeah, yeah that's true. Good. Good. Too deep there. Mm -hmm. Keep going, that's good. Operates all the way in here, lovely. Right to the right, good. Use the road here, perfect. Bring the car back in here. Go. No brake, no more brake pressure than that, that's perfect. I'll hold the brakes in. We're going to come off the end of this lap now. Mm -hmm. So start to slow down. Ease it off. Put the indicator on, please. Left indicator. and easy, full lock, the car's got a great turning circle, you should make it. Right, so, everything good? Yeah, Enjoy, it's perfect. Do you want a bit more air in the car? Uh, yeah, definitely, I need some Let's more you, uh, cool air, please. Let's get on there. <laughs> that is perfect. Drop solution is actually slightly too warm for this. You can take your jacket off if you want. Do you want yeah, to do that? Actually, actually Let's put points apart and then we'll I'm gonna we'll jump out. I'm gonna turn the car around anyway, so we'll mm -hmm. jump in this side if I just we'll take it, put it in the boot, get yourself comfortable.
Oh, no, no. You've got to press the button. There's a little button there. Yeah, so there's a lot going on, isn't there? Yeah. Um, if you now, if you say you watch, uh, do you ever watch Formula One on TV? Yes, I do. So you see that there's actually a lot going on. There's a lot of. Uh, you wonder why they're sweating and and mm -hmm. uh, what what what, what water? They have to actually even take measurements for yeah. um, how much water they lose. Exactly. Them. Exactly. Yeah. This is part of the old original mm -hmm. original track here. Okay. So that's going back some some years. How long this track has been? Here? The original track has been here for um, over a hundred years. Wow. Yeah. That's a long, long time. Yeah. So yeah, long, long time. That's it. There's a lot of lot of lot of concentration. A lot of things going on yeah. here. So what we're going to do, we're going to line up here, mm -hmm. and we're going to do a little bit of uh, driving on the on this, this yeah, on the skids over here. So, so you might as well jump in, but I just wanted to. Actually, I might do a lap. You know what? Let me do a yeah. demo. Dem it makes Absolutely it a, perfect. Yeah, it makes it sometimes a lot easier. Um, we've just repainted it. Repainted. Which means that the, the, see that surface where the car yeah. is going now uh, is. Um, it's a smooth surface, mm -hmm. completely smooth, okay? So that added with water almost m makes it quite, almost like ice, but it's mm -hmm. varying levels. So there's grip and no grip, grip, no grip. So it's mm -hmm. very challenging, but very good for your car control. So what do you know about ESP? Do you understand much about ESP, what that I is? I know what it is. It's the um, traction control in a car. Yeah. Um, it's actually more than you're right on the right track. It's more. I'll give you a bit of air, by the mm -hmm. way. It's more than oh, just traction nice. control. It's a stability yeah, system. Stability, yeah. So it cuts the power, and it applies the braking as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Mercedes invented that, and it's an incredible system. It really is incredible, uh, as we're going to as we're going to see now. Mm -hmm. So, on some cars, you can't switch it off, but on this one, you can switch it off completely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that only specific to AMG versions? Yes. You're absolutely right, yes. So non-AMG, you can't switch off. You can switch yeah. off to a certain degree, but not fully off. Mm -hmm. And the idea behind that is you, we'd say, well, why would I want to switch it off? Yeah, on the road, you actually need that. Yeah, only if you're kind of stuck. It, yes. Stuck in snow, gravel, black ice, something like that, mm -hmm. then yes, you would, you would switch it mm -hmm. off. Yeah. Um, so, so that that doesn't happen, mm -hmm. of course. <laughs> Where are you That's from originally? I'm originally from Poland. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Uh, I've been to Poland, very nice place. Mm -hmm. Which, Whereabouts? I've been to Warsaw and Łódź. Mm -hmm. So a very yeah, lovely yeah, time. Places. Yourself? Uh, yeah, I'm from Krakow. Oh yeah, well that's, a, well that's where I should have gone. Unfortunately, I didn't get the time mm -hmm. next time. But this is like the correct destination for tourists, I would say. Yeah, I mean, For a party, for a night out, it's probably Yeah, the and place. they say it's, it's very, I mean, I found Warsaw very beautiful, but they're saying yeah, that also. Krakow is, is, is the one yeah. to see from the point of view of that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Next time. Obviously. Uh, yeah. I'm just saying. So, what I do is I put ESP system off. I just press mm -hmm. that button. Fully off now, yeah? Okay. So the rules of the circle, just so you know, is only two cars at one time, half a circle separation, mm -hmm. and no overtaking. Uh, don't worry about it, just so it's in the back of your mind, mm -hmm. yep. I'll manage it, but that's the sort of story. Makes sense. So, I just, but it's good, both cars are coming off even better, so. Someone's waiting behind us as well. Yeah, yeah, they're, well, they're, they'll wait behind us, they'll wait for us. Okay. Here we go. So, this section is high grip, mm -hmm. so I'm just going to do nothing much on this section for yep. a second. When we get to maybe just past the second, uh, the 4x4s, four four, we'll start by a bit of a slider trying to correct it. So, I put a bit of power on. The back turns, I turn towards you, then I lift off the power, and it corrects. Hmm. So on the road, that's what you do. On the power, look, 
off the power. And I'm not screaming the rev to seven. I'm just giving it to about, well, let's see. Four, four and a half maybe maximum. And catch, yeah? Um, the, the surface is, is being repainted, so it's gonna be completely different when your frame came here. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a lot higher grip and a lot, lot harder. Mm -hmm. It changes as we, it will go back to that, but it's, it's just been repainted. So it's, in a way, if you could do this, you're, you're up there with the best drivers, because it's very tricky now. I'll just show you once more. Then I'm guessing let's have a little go at a drift if possible. Drift, everyone talks about yes. it. It's where you hold the car hold in a continuous line. So you start off by picking up a bit of a bit of power. Mm -hmm. Then you come off the power slightly. So I'll show you and what you I mean by that. And you count with the steering. What's that? And you count exactly, yeah. the steering. So, and a bit of power on now. Mm -hmm. Now once, now we just keep it going. I'm on the power. And if you notice, very small inputs on the steering. Yeah. So people generally throw the car in and then I'm not jerking on the steering. I'm being as smooth as I can, so just keeping the power. So the revs are going in between two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Again, it's trying to straighten out, a bit of power on, and around she comes. The revs now have gone down, but we're having to slightly play. Here, the car's gonna hit the grip. Feel that? Yeah. Straight out. I didn't do anything, it just gripped up. So anyway, I'm gonna come off so you can have some fun now. So that's the idea. So as I wasn't said- that, Wasn't that the grippy bit? Yeah. You managed to yep, so hit that all grip. Mm -hmm. And then again, here, the grip goes away again. So quite slow, bit of a rev on. All very, it all happens quite slowly. Actually, there's a lot of grip there, so a bit mm -hmm. more power. Comes around, turn in, we keep it going, yeah? And if it straightens up, we turn to the right to get the back end out, and, yeah? So if it straightens, we'll go back like that, anyway. You can do it for yourself. Cool. When you say it, that when you show it like that, it basically sounds very easy. Yeah, well, I've obviously been there, around there. Thousands of times, in fact. Right. I didn't know how many, but thousands. <laughs> That's cool. How long have you been doing it then? Here, six years. So, That's quite a while. Actually, I'll come a little bit more forward. Fair enough. Brilliant. So again, uh, yeah, press the number one button at the top and hold it. Goes back to your position. Ah, that's good. I don't have to readjust this left shit. And obviously the left leg in the, in the correct position, yeah? Mm -hmm. That's it. Right, so again, just have a little look at what these guys are doing. Mm -hmm. uh, and then that's going to give you a good idea. So again, you yeah, sounds good. You felt the car grip up, that's gonna spin. Mm -hmm. And so is that. So that's quite <laughs> common practice for people to spin off. It's not the, you know, it's, it's just part of the learning curve. So, so, so again, you watch these guys here. You say the slippery um, side starts from those 4x4s? Four four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it lasts to about where we... Yeah, yeah. Up but to it's, zero, actually, is it? Oh, no, it's to about there. Oh, okay. Because it's very realistic, because on the roads, you might have a slippery surface, and a, like the ice, yeah. car slide, and as soon as you hit the grip, mm -hmm. it's going to do that. So it's actually exactly how it would happen on the road. So you've got to be prepared for a sudden snap one way or the other, mm -hmm. because as I said, on the road, you've got an icy patch, solid grip, boom, it's going to... So that's a bit more slippery there. Mm -hmm. He's nice. holding it pretty good then. And not bad actually. Car's slightly easier actually on that one. That's pretty good actually. Mm -hmm. Good control. That's good. That's it. Oops, that's going to be a spin, is it? Oh. No. Oh, and then it's, look, you can see stable. Yeah. Oh, it's getting out of the side. Oh, it's stabilised there.
Oh, he's, he's had a bit, nothing major, but mm -hmm. we like to say, imagine that out of the slippery surface, there's parked cars. So if you're spinning off like that, you're generally hitting something. Mm -hmm. So like that, it's okay, but that's probably gonna, oh, no, no, okay, nicely held, nicely held. Right, we're on next, yeah. Mm -hmm. Back, it's in drive, yeah? Yeah, it is in drive. Lovely. Park taken off. Perfectly. On we go, sir. Yep. Round to the left. So, no braking at all when you're out on the circle. Back in. Okay. So, just drive around at normal pace at the moment. Mm -hmm. Gonna slow down just a little bit. Alright. We're gonna get around to the white car. Mm -hmm. That's it. I'm just gonna position. No, nothing, on the, nothing on the pedals from your side for a second. Let me slow it down. So remember, back hands on the wheel. Now remember what I did? Look at the yep. rev counter, do the same. Give it a bit of a blip. Turn towards me now, hold the revs on. Turn towards me again, more and more towards me. Off the power, and let's reset. Brilliantly good. done. Thanks. Excellent start, high standard. Hmm. Do it again. Power on. Let the back come towards me. Turn to right a little bit this, that's it. Turn back way to get the back and back towards me. Keep it going. So it's just playing with the wheel, but nice and gentle. Nice okay, and gentle. Right, yeah. Off the power, off the power, and we'll settle it. Right, yeah. You're a that's bit of right. what they call a natural. <laughs> Thanks. As it happens. <laughs> Brilliant driving. So here you don't try it. Yeah. It's going to end in disaster. Yeah. Not a disaster, but it's just going to spin off and, and you're going to have no speed to get through it. Fantastic. So you've got a natural ability because we didn't even bother doing the warm up, we just went straight into the drift, mm -hmm. which is superb. Go again, squeeze the power on. That's it. Keep it going. Keep it That's it. Off the power now, off the power completely. Only is we're going to hit, we've hit the high grip mm -hmm. there, so it happens. A little All bit right. to the left. Um, try and be smooth on the steering. When you turn to the right to get more back end out, maybe not quite as much. A little bit to the left here, because we're gonna. Otherwise, we're just gonna end up on that. Yeah, more mm -hmm. to the left. That's it. Round to the right again. Go. This way. That's it. Keep it going. Gently to yeah, gently to the oh, right. Yeah. And off. So everything's looking good, but trying to throw it in because it's sucking you into the inside there. Mm -hmm. All right, let's just drive around again. Good though. Brilliant. I mean, drifting the car here just like that. Is it as easy to do this on um, dry surface? Quite similar. It's pretty similar. Just quicker, that's all. Mm -hmm. All right. Empty that's a good side. Thing. Yep. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll look position. That. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay, go. Power on. So we had what they call a fishtail, for obvious reasons. The back it, of the car is yeah. like that. And on the, the road, yeah, yeah. on the road, on the road, you come off the power straight away. Mm -hmm. Simple reason because it's pretty dangerous. Yeah. I've had people say to me, if I want to drift, to, no, people say to me, if I'm on the road and the car slides, should I drift? Mm -hmm. No, you don't drift because mm -hmm. it's a, it's going to end it's in disaster. Yeah. But you can see, as soon as you come off the power, car settles down. Mm -hmm. Good. Let's do another one. Stay down there. Off you go. Oh. Off the power, off the power company. Yeah, because we're too close to there yeah. and it's going to grip. It's all about positioning and so. Like that. Yeah, try not to break, that's it, off you go. Off the power, off the power. Too close, too close. Again, yeah. just nothing really doing right, it's just positioning. Okay, let me get the car positioned correctly. Mm -hmm. There you go. Slightly less revs. Keep it going. Now. Turn towards me. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Right. Excellent. ESP on now. This is with the stability system on. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to slow down slightly. Squeeze a bit of power on, and you can see the way. No, you, you can see the difference. Yeah. See that? Hard on the power again. 
How about that? It controls for everything yeah. for me. Power on again, go. Try not to throw it in. It still slides. Yeah, just a tiny yeah. bit. Probably uh, just can't. Yeah, can't. don't try to throw it in there because it will spin mm -hmm. over you. But yeah, it's just. It's, it's, it's killing the power and applying the mm -hmm. brakes. Yeah. Again on the power. Mm -hmm. How about that for a system? Brilliant. And you're right. still, but you're still. The good thing is, you're still catching the car. Mm -hmm. So the fact of the matter is, that you can drift the car with all the systems off. We've got a 500 horsepower car which you're drifting. Yeah. If you can do that, then a catching a slow with ESP on is going to be easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which I'm very happy about. You easily caught that. Left hip, please. That actually even tells me that this is. Yeah, I know. Reads the signs. We're going to yeah. turn right here, please. Right. There's a little gap up ahead. Up above there, there's those yeah. cones. Yeah. And right again. So. Pull up uh, over here. Into those lines. Yeah. Water on the straight. Mm -hmm. uh, track control, water on the straight, please. So, uh, circle, please. what's your understanding of ABS brakes? I just only know that ABS is anti um, brake lock system. Yeah, well, that's good, that's good enough. What it does is yeah, it pumps the brakes blah, 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 yeah. so the wheels don't skid. So, before ABS brakes existed, wheels would skid, no control of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. I'm going to set the speed limit to 30 miles an hour. Yep. Mm -hmm. When we go into the water jets, I'll go three, two, one, brake, gently feed in the brakes, see what happens. Mm -hmm. Okay. So again, if you don't mind placing the left foot, just yeah, that's it. Uh, Doesn't make any difference for the driving, by the way. If I have it like that. You no, know, that's for fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice and steady. Yeah. Right, off we go. That's it. Don't floor it because there is a limit at which you'll jump mm -hmm. through. So it'll, you'll see what I mean. It's gonna. Uh, that's good. Looking good. Keep going. Keep going. Three. Two, one, brake. Okay, I feel pulsating. Off the brake. Have you found that before? Um, yes, I have actually. We'll exit where the stop signs are, back on the main road, and then uh, we're going to go quicker and we're just going to keep increasing the speed. Yeah, just watch both sides. Mm -hmm. Shall we go right? Yes, please. Same area, please. Okay. Before even ABS, um, there was uh, they were teaching people yeah, how to um, yes. horse brake. That was exactly. that, wasn't it? Yes, so there's no need for it now. Yeah, because the car does. Because of the car doesn't. Uh, around the hour to five cars, I think. That's it. Perfect. That's it. So very gently stop here. That's it. At the end of the brake, just cover the brake slightly. That's it. Good. Mm -hmm. uh, Thirty-five. Let's go. Same thing. Yeah. Three, two, one, brake. Full control. Off the brakes. Good. Lovely. Again, we're going to exit. Uh, just be careful the car's coming. Yep. Driver, so just mm -hmm. give it that's a kid driving. Is that the um, 17? Under 17, it could be a 12 year old. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Uh, and then we're going to turn right in the same area. And again, each time I'm just going to go push the car quicker. Mm -hmm. quicker. Yeah. So. Right and right. Forty. Let's go. When you brake, maybe brake not quite as hard, but keep going. Mm -hmm. Keep it up. Forty. Three, two, one. Brake. All in control. You notice it takes a lot longer mm -hmm. to stop. And off. So that's I really want to show you that as well. It's all in control. 
But it's double the braking distance, just 10 miles an hour, yeah? Yeah. Okay, good. Which way this time? Same area, we're gonna do one more thing there. Mm -hmm. I don't have the AMG at the moment, I've, uh, okay. yeah, but uh, another car, but yeah. That's right, yeah. Ah. Right and right. Let's gently stop it again. Okay, this time 35 miles an hour. When you brake, take your hands off the steering wheel. Mm -hmm. Go. All right. Got no clue. No prediction what's going to happen. Wow, you'll be all good. Keep going. This is a good trust in Mercedes. Three, two, one. Brake hands dead straight. And off the brake. It's holding the wheel by, by itself. What it's doing, it's cutting the power and applying braking to the different mm -hmm. wheels to stabilize the car. Mm -hmm. Not actually taking control of the wheel. All right. Okay. Again, the same. Yeah. Let me just think what to do next. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so this time we're going to turn right, we're going to go the other other side this time. Mm -hmm. So we should turn left after that. Right then left? Yeah. Are we going to lane one? Good. Right. So now what we're going to do is some acceleration runs. A mm -hmm. uh, bit of fun, really. But we'll also do the braking as well. So just put it into park, which is you've got to press the end of the stick, end of it. That's oh, it. Press the end. Yeah, oh, that's it. Oh, do a little bit of a brake test to hit the brakes, brake. So we're just going to build it up and build it up and build it up, yeah? So uh, the first run, uh, we're going to get up to the orange and white cone, maybe a little bit further because we're going to be that quick. Mm -hmm. Then I'll say, come off the power and a bit of gentle braking. So this is where we're gonna practice the braking as well. So, you come on the brakes very light, gentle. Mm -hmm. We preload the front of the car. If you then think, oh, actually, you know what, I need to slow down a little bit more, just gently and progressively put more brake pressure to slow the car down. Mm -hmm. At the end, there's a, right at the end, there's a little gap at the left. That's what we're gonna aim for. We're not gonna bring the car to a standstill. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna slow it down. But All right. The idea is to slow it down without me feeling the nose diving, yeah? Um, Moderate speed this time, yeah, I'll guide you through. Oops. Okay. Easily done. Off we go. That's it. That's perfect. Just moderate speed. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Gently off the power. A bit of very soft braking. That's it. And we've got to turn left with those kind of where those birds are. <laughs> left it. Perfect. Excellent. So yep. So if you can do that as we go quicker and quicker and quicker, left it, sorry, then uh, we're gonna have some, at the end, we're gonna do some flat out accelerator. I mean, this car just mentally, it's like a- Yeah, it's like, It's just like an absolute uh, animal. Is it, is it dual turbo? Dual turbo? Yes, dual turbo. Because I've done, as we were doing this um, second track, actually, uh, I feel like uh, there is this point where the second one kicks in and the, all the power comes out. Yeah, yeah. But you're gonna feel that here. Mm -hmm. You go first. First again? Yeah, gently bring it to a standstill. That's it. That's it. Excellent. Very nice. Okay, this time 50% quicker, but not flat mm -hmm. out yet, yeah? Yep. Off we go. I'll guide through. I'll see. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. And now a bit of some braking. And in. That's good. I think we're ready for. What, let this car obviously go past do a big U-turn. Okay, let's pull these chaps along. Switch the way to the cone now. Okay. And this time you can go quick. Flat out. Yes.
We will. You will have to come off the power at the orange and white this time, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Be free, down. Off you go. Still more performance to be found than until really? you have. Oh. So that was good. When you when you first started, were you right down to the floor? Yes. Okay, maybe you were there. Left there. Because it engages first, get, there's a little switch. Mm -hmm. So you have to be really pushing through the carpet. Pedal to the metal, as they say. Mm -hmm. That's where it comes from. So this time straight away. Not mm -hmm. as right when you get there, yeah. as hard as you can, yeah? Fair enough. And there's a little bit more performance there, and then I'm going to change a couple of modes as well afterwards. Hmm. So, uh, yeah. so, so right from the gecko, uh, basically floor it. Exactly. Cool. Go right down. That's it. That's it. Keep it down. Keep it down. Keep it down. That's it. Slightly quicker because it engaged first, gets straight away, and it shot off. Okay, good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into a different mode. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's been in a certain. We had we're on a sport. We're going to the left here. We're on a sport. I was just checking whether it's oh no, I appreciate that. Now we're going to go into a sport plus mode. Yeah. It just means the gear changes are slightly quicker. It holds onto the gears longer. Yeah. So this one was putting in slightly longer. And it means that you went from naught to sixty in about four point eight. Now you're going to be about 4.4, let's look at the fuel level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two of us in the car, 4.3, 4.4. Mm -hmm. Quite, you know, the fuel isn't too much. But, uh, still, the difference there is yeah, obviously significant. significant. So we'll just slow it here. Yeah. Shall we go? Oh no, no wait, wait to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, runway system here. Down. Go. Keep it down. Yeah. Actually, we're just, we've got 70 miles an hour. It's mad, isn't it? One more? Mm. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do, it. let's do it again. It's not often you get to do that. No, no, really. Uh, and you can imagine. In the city mode, you can't use this. Yeah, thing. and obviously, uh, you know, you remember that wear and tear on the vehicle. Uh, we don't mind if you have fun, but yeah. your own car, you're only doing that every day. Tires, Definitely. transmission, and many other brakes. Oh, yeah. Very good. Right down, go. Keep it down, that's it, keep it down, keep it down, keep it down, go, go, that's it. I mean, it's, 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 who would have thought you'd get to 70 miles an hour just like that? Mm -hmm. Left here, sir. All the way down. Yeah, our time is nearly over. From a driving point of view, excellent, very happy. Um, great, good. I said a bit of a natural when it came to the skid circle. You just mm -hmm. beautiful. You just that was the first time I was seeing it. No, no, that was really impressive. You kept the car drifting. Had a good feel for it. Good, good effort on the track. When, when I, I, a couple of things you need to explain. Yep. What I particularly liked about what we did on the track is you were then taking good cornering speed, mm -hmm. but it was effortless. So people often come in, they're like this, holding on the stack. I can see you're relaxed. And I think we're going a lot quicker than you probably realise. It's just beautiful. It's flowing. It was just uh, off. So that was an excellent break on the seat. No, fantastic. Thank you. No, really, really. It was amazing fun. I'm going to try someday this 4x4 as well. Yeah, you love the 4x4 as well. Completely different but exciting as well. Mm -hmm. That's it. Just, again, just uh, be careful of pedestrians yeah. and people. Yeah. There's a few people wandering about here. So there are a few people. Way? Yeah, right here, please. But I think you're on yeah. a test drive, so just trickle slowly. That's perfect. It's nice. That's it. Keep going on from here. So, um, see where the van is. Mm -hmm. That's it. Just gently uh, park in front of that. That's it. 
just on top part of my hand. Press the end of, end of the stick, that's it. Yeah, so effectively, what we're doing today, it's one of those things that you just can keep getting better and better. Mm -hmm. You've done all the basics, so uh, put it this way, you've passed the basic, the basic test, and you'd keep, you uh, would love you to come back and then keep improving. Progress. <laughs> Perfect, I love it. Great. Pleasure Definitely to meet you, sir. Pleasure to meet you as well. Your uh, USB, probably 15 minutes, that'll be mm -hmm. ready. Down to the driver's mm -hmm. lounge in the hour.